Hello and welcome to another Adobe Photoshop CC tutorial. This one's going to be um, a quick tip for cutting out your selections, sort such as trees and uh, foliage and like basically object anything um, which you want to get rid of the, that horrible white like halo you get sometimes when you haven't cut out you know a lot of the the white background or something like that. Um, so we're going to be I'll show you in Photoshop now. So I'll bring that up. Um, so let's bring it up. So basically, as you can see here, I've cut out a roughly this selection of this tree. Um, and you can see this horrible white sort of halo to the, the edges of the tree. Um, so an example I quickly put together for you to show you how the, this effect will work. Uh, so on here, as you can see, there's no white halo at all. Um, it's completely gone and obviously it fits quite well to the scene. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So I'm going to bring in, to, in the, the tree first of all. So let's get that in there. Is it okay? There it is. Get rid of that. I'll just have to shut this down first just so I can uh, reopen it. Okay, so we got it here, and then the first step to do is uh, there's multiple ways you can do this uh, with a white background up with a tree. Channels is probably the best way to do this, but you can also use um, color range and then get the selection there, fuzziness right down. Uh, if you got it inverted, you can actually see the tree instead of the masks, and you can actually see what you're cutting out. Um, but I'm going to use uh, channels for this. So if you go to channels, get the blue, and then duplicate it. So right click, duplicate. As you can see, it's got a good black to white ratio on this. It's going to cut out the tree really well. Uh, so I'm gonna, all we have to do is control, I'm going to darken it a little bit. So control L on the copy, not that one. Control L or Command L, that'll bring up your levels and I'm just going to increase the black just a little bit. Okay, so then I'm going to control and then uh, command and then hit on the thumbnail to get the selection. Bring back RGB, take off blue copy, get the layers. And I'm going to mask it the other way though. Control shift I or command shift I, I believe or select inverse shift control I. Yeah. And then mask it out. So you've got our bush here. But I'm going to add the black, uh, back in the black so we can see what we're going to be getting rid of, the white. Okay, so I'm going to apply layer mask. If you want to keep completely uh, um, non-destructive, then I advise you not to do this, but you can always uh, make the mask doing this and then mask it out. So if I show what I mean by that, um, well, I won't actually, I'll just do the, the main thing, but you can, you can do that if you want to. Um, so got it here, and as you can see, you've got this horrible white halo around all of the the bush, the, the tree. Uh, so to get rid of that, it's very simple, which um, most of you probably won't know what this is. So you get a layer, matting, and then remove white matte. As you can see, it's got rid of it. Um, if you do it once more again, got rid of it a lot more. Um, it might be a bit too much, it might have got rid of it too much of the tree. Um, but let's bring it into the scene to see what we're dealing with. So I'm gonna take this one out, so I'll Keep all of the adjustments, just a little bit of editing. Uh, so this here, so let's bring this in here. Okay, so as you can see, it's still got a, like a sort of tint, a tinged, and it's got the green, and it's not the greatest. Uh, but we can do that by using the fringe as well, which is also on the same uh, panel, so layer, matting, and then the fringe. So the amount you use is obviously going to make it more severe. So if I use like uh, 50, it's going to get rid of quite a lot, but it's still done a really good job to it. Uh, so if I zoom in on it, layer, matting, defringe, let's go to 5. See, and there we go, it's pretty much gone. All of the horrible white halo and the edges to the bush is gone. It's uh, basically just made it all a bit more realistic. Um, if you want to know how I did this little, it's not really just a uh, colour correction, it's just a little bit of a nice effect, a bit of uh, sunlight and all that. Um, there's this another uh, thing which I'll show you, which you probably didn't know of either. It's called Color Lookup. So Color Lookup is uh, one of the adjustments. Um, most people don't use it. I hardly use it, but I've started to use it now because it has some really nice color corrections. So it's basically made for 3D, but you can use it to um, make color corrections. So if I select these, as you can see, you've got all these selections. 
uh, late sunset, bleach bypass, those type of things. So we get a two strip look. It's got this like blossom like uh, Chinese type um, artwork feel to it. So you could like uh, play with this a lot. Um, there's other ones. I'll show you the other ones as well. Uh, free ship look, uh, drop blues. It basically takes away the blues. Edgy amber, which is really nice. Um, you can obviously do a lot to that, and you can uh, maybe apply image go down to like 40, 60, something like that, and it will uh, take out all the shadows. So there's any effect in the highlights. It's quite nice. I like that. Maybe change it to soft color or soft light. That's a pretty nice effect. Um, so delete that mask again, do something else. Uh, you can do a good one is horror blue as well, so that will work on obviously horror images. Uh, late sunset again, that's like a nice burgundy thing. Uh, moonlight, of course, is a self explanatory. And um, there's another one called Night from Day, is that the one? Um, Foggy Night, which is pretty good. Uh, there's the other ones as well, so you can go to uh, Black Light Poster. Carmine, there's loads of things in here that you can play around with. Gold blue, which is a nice one. Um, so yeah, you have to play with that. So that's basically it. I'm just uh, showing you how to get the better selections on your objects and your trees. Get rid of that white matte. It also works on models um, from green screens and from white screens, black screens, whether. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this a quick tip tutorial. And um, stay tuned for a lot more. I'll be bringing a lot more soon. Um, so yeah, any any uh, things you want me to look look at? Um, please just leave a comment and I'll do a tutorial on it. Um, so yeah, thanks very much and um, see you later.